Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Had to think about the days. Um, I just wanted to jump in today to bring a message that I got while listening to Louise Hay. And it's something I had been kind of going back and forth on through my own healing journey. And I thought it really resonated today in particular. Um, because I've been hard on myself. I've been critical of where I'm at. I've been critical of how I don't feel like I'm doing enough. Um, just little things that come up every day and you get hard on yourself, especially as moms, um, the weight that we carry and over ourselves by raising our children in motherhood, all of that. So this one message I feel can be such a shift in your, in your headspace and how you go about your day and go about your life that can just really shift everything about you, about your frequency, about how you perceive your reality, how you, how you feel about yourself. And that, it seems simple, but it's really, it's something we really haven't been taught, I feel. A large majority of us have not been taught. And the simple thing is to resist, I shouldn't even say resist, Stop self-criticism. And I feel this more now in this spiritual work that I've done because we, within the spiritual community, we're led a lot into kind of working through our wounds and our traumas and our reactive behaviors and all the traits of narcissism and all these other things that come up in self-reflection of what we need to work on within ourselves, which is all great things to do. Self-reflection is extremely important in being able to observe our actions and to be able to bring up wounds that we need to address that affects our life, affects our relationships, affects our parenting, affects how we perceive ourselves our value, our worth in the world. But what can happen while we do this healing work is we can be extremely self-critical, meaning taking these wounds or behaviors and getting extremely hard on ourselves, being very, it almost becomes more of a practice of self-hatred. So when we get into this place of wanting to heal parts of ourselves and wanting to fix things, we're not fully accepting ourselves as well. There isn't a level of acceptance for who we are right now, while also being able to acknowledge the things that need to be worked through. So there becomes a self-rejection. And I've come upon this with Teal Swan's work as well. So it's like a double-edged sword, being able to observe the aspects of ourselves to, that need healing and work on that while also being able to accept who we are and love, not just the emotion of love, but the true frequency of loving acceptance for who we are and where we're at and what we're doing in life, while also understanding the things that we have grown to take on within our energy the wounds that we've adapted to in order to um, almost the survival mechanisms we've adapted within ourselves to walk through this world. And the more we create this resistance with rejection, rejecting aspects of ourselves, we continue to fracture our being. We're fracturing our spiritual body and our wholeness, when what we want to do is be bringing ourselves back into wholeness, not continuing to bring this self-rejection and more fracturings of our energy. And that alone is a practice of bringing up what causes us to, to reject ourselves as well. That in itself is work because that's something that's 
been taught to us as well. Why we're worthy, why we're unworthy of love, essentially. These feelings of unworthiness and self-hatred and self-rejection are all wounds in themselves that need to be addressed. And while we focus on these healing journeys, these trauma work, that can actually bring up even more self-rejection that brings us into a deeper place of more fractured soul essence. So it's a really delicate work of accepting exactly who we are while also acknowledging the things that we want to change, but not changing in a place of self-hatred, not changing as in we're a bad person for these traits that we have, or that we're a bad person because we do this and this and this. Accepting why we do those things and working through the whys. So what are the whys? Where are the wounds? Where are the, the core issues that we still hold? And not continue to self-criticize, to put ourselves down along the way and feel unworthy of love, acceptance, and joy. Because we all are beautiful divine beings and we all come from an, a loving collective consciousness. This universal wisdom, this universal consciousness, we are all fractals of. That's what we want to come back into being aligned with and being within the frequency of. And that self-criticism will continue to fracture us and take us further and further away from that, that being in wholeness. So happy Wednesday. Love you all.